So it's Rodan's Fort celebrates its 75th anniversary. I am talking to Andreas Henkel, who is the product manager for Network Analyzers. Andreas, I understand that there's a significant historical instrument on this stand. Yes, that's correct. Rodan Swartz built the first vector network analyzer in 1950, so it's 58 years right. old now, and it's a big history. We have a network analysis. Right. So, sort of nearly 60 years on, sort of what's new at Rodan Swartz? Can you tell me what you're showing here? Sure. What we see here is a setup for frequency converter measurements in the millimeter wave range. Mm -hmm. So, we have two frequency converters here, which extend the frequency of the vector network analyzer to 75 to 110 gigahertz. Right, okay. And the specific thing about this is that these frequency converters now allow to do a power sweep, right, okay. which was not possible before. Right. And the power sweep is done on an amplifier, which is the device under test, mm -hmm. you see here in the middle. So the power sweep is done electronically, controlled, from the network analyzer. And this is the interface which controls the, the frequency converters. So the power sweep is done and the power is increased. So what we can see is a measurement for a compression point right. on an amplifier here. Okay. And what are the specific applications? It is, first of all, the amplifier measurements, as we can see here, with especially the compression point measurement, electronically controlled. Mm -hmm. And it is also the possibility to do a power calibration, and the power calibration allows to make the generator flat, mm -hmm. so we can use it also for other devices as well. Right, okay. Are there any other significant instruments that you're showing on the... Here. Yes, I mean, what we see here above is the, the family of our frequency converters. So we have three models here, 50 to 75 gigahertz, 75 to 110, that's what we also see here, and in the upper range from 220 to 325 gigahertz. Oh, thank you. Well, happy anniversary and thanks for this. Thank you. Thank you.